Alrighty folks, welcome and bienvenue, how's it all going? Here we have a collection update video, you lucky dogs, and uh, to kick us off we have the Dancing ATST. <laughs> so that's pretty cool, yep. I've already done this video, possibly twice. The second time I did it, I think I said cool every second. So, uh, it's far from cool in this room, let me tell you. The missus put the heating on to 100 decibels and then fucked off to work. I was lying asleep on the couch, woke up, I thought I'd teleported to fucking Brisbane. But anyway, <laughs> back to the toys. So, yes, uh, an ATST. Unfortunately for me, somebody has decided that they didn't like it, uh, in fact hated it, and decided to melt it with a lighter. But I can probably uh, sort that out. I just need to get a new, this piece, a headpiece. Uh, because, the, I mean, the wee hatch is there. Oop. The wee hatch is there and the walk-ins, it walks fine. So, yeah. I thought that was pretty cool. Haha, <laughs> that's the first cool. Count them, folks, count them. Uh, so that was pretty awesome. Uh, the next thing we have is a, another smaller vehicle. Uh, it's the Millennium Falcon. <laughs> uh, the missus was overjoyed when she saw this fleeing through the door when the postman came with it. Uh, it's in not bad condition. It needs a damn good clean, definitely. Really nice to have it uh, back in my collection though. I remember having this as a kid and playing uh, with my G.I. Joes actually and my Action Force in it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I was had epic battles across space and time but G.I. Joe used to team up with like Luke and Han and they'd battle like Cobra Commander, Darth Vader and whoever else was hanging about at the time. I can't remember. I think Man at Arms, I think yeah, I made him a bad guy at He-Man. Uh, the robo, the robotic one. He was, he was part of their team, um, because I never had many baddies. I always had a lot of goodies, you know. And I think as a kid, I always wanted more bad guy toys, but there just didn't seem to be as many. It was always too many heroes, too many fucking heroes, man. Uh, so yes, yeah, so there you go, the Millennium Falcon. It's a bit of a restoration project. It needs an absolute clean. It's filthy as, but yeah, pretty cool. That's the second time I've said it. Um, <laughs> if you go back through all my videos, you'll be like, oh, he says cool all the time. What's wrong with that bell end? Uh, right, so the next thing I got isn't Star Wars orientated. It is the uh, Marvel Avengers Lego game for the PS Vita. Really, really great game. Um, I collect the Lego games for the Vita as I'm a big fan of the Vita. Uh, yeah, so I pre-ordered this one. Uh, I've had a go of it. Uh, and uh, it's it's quite good because in parts of it, it's like you're... Uh, it's not like Grand Theft Auto, but you can drive around in cars and helicopters and stuff, uh, which is sweet. And then, obviously, you can be the Avenger characters. And if you you know the format of the games, but you can unlock a lot of new characters and stuff. And uh, it's, it's a really great game, so first impressions were great. Uh, the other Marvel game they released for the Vita... Um, that wasn't so good. Uh, they, it just the format was all wrong. Too much touch screen for my liking. Um, they shouldn't have changed it. So they're back to their best with this one. So yep, I'm I'm a big fan. So good times. Uh, the next thing I purchased. This is all from eBay. This stuff, by the way, uh, was this. It is the Bucky O'Hare uh, Toad Double Bubble, and it came with a box, which was pretty cool. Third time. Uh, yeah, that was pretty good. So I came with a box. Uh, and the vehicle is here. There you go. I'll just move that down. Move, we'll lift this up so you get a better look at it. So yeah, that's the double bubble. I'm army building these guys, so if you have any for trade, I'd very much appreciate a wee trade boo with you. I think it's missing these pieces, but... I'm pretty sure my brother got his one back in the day. It never had bits at the back. Probably talking arse, but you never know. So that's good. Uh, the, all the stickers seem were all fine, apart from there was two stickers here and here. You can probably see the outline actually of them. Uh, and they should have been 
there and there. But I just stuck them on with dub double sided tape and they've worked a treat, so yeah. Excellente, and they came off pretty easily because it's old and the glue's kind of evaporated. But uh, yeah, so that was that was a, a decent uh, vintage pickup. Uh, I've already completed my figures collection, even though I am army building this chap. But uh, yeah, it was it was good. Happy days. So that's that. I'll put the tripod back down again. There we go. And the final thing that I have purchased recently is well, actually, I didn't buy this. What happened was, the, the woman I work with, well, the woman, one of the ladies I work with, uh, her husband's dad, he used to do what I did and uh, collected and went to car boots, but he did it at a time where these guys were at the boot sales all the time. Uh, basically, the, every time he went, he picked them up. So his loft is jam-packed full of stuff. Uh, I desperately, desperately want to go up there and have a look, but it's quite far away from where I live, and uh, I don't think they're too keen for me to go and look. But she did bring something back the last time she went. Well, t she brought a falcon, not not this one, another falcon, which is 100% complete, and she's keeping that because her son likes Star Wars, so that's fine. So I went. She said, "If you hold fire, I'll see if there's another one," because apparently there's two or three up there. But no, no, I wanted one, and I, you know, I felt bad. And she and I really wanted one, and she took. She, she wasn't going there, you know. I didn't want her to go out of her way type thing, you know. So, but she did pick something up the last time, and I didn't know she'd done this. And it's been sitting in the cupboard for about six months. And uh, she wasn't actually going to give it to me originally, but she just got so sick of it, and she knew that I'd moved house and I'd set up my collection room and whatnot. So she gave it to me, uh, which is just so cool. Uh, and I'll just show you what it is. First of all, I'll show you the box, and I'll probably give it away. It is a Slave 1 Palatoy from the Empire Strikes Back ship. Uh, the box has got one of the ends missing, but I, I don't think I've ever had a vintage spaceship box in my hands, ever. So this is a really great great moment uh also this this was good normal price 7.99 so you could buy this normally for eight quid they're selling it for four half its original price so you save four quid that's how much this sold for brand new four pounds <laughs> four pounds imagine what it's worth now it must be worth at least 30 to 40 now i mean it's just bizarre but yeah and the be palato logo down there uh yeah so that's pretty good. So I'll show you the, um, I will show you the spaceship, or the ship. There it is. It's really great condition. Um, comes with the side panel and the ramp. The only things I had to do was it was missing one of its uh, wings. So I just bought a couple of vintage ones online um, and I just changed them both over so they're both the same. And also that sticker I had to reapply. Apart from that, nothing. Just as is, <clears throat> in really, really nice condition. And uh, yeah, it's probably, it is probably one of my most favorite things in my collection. Um, so I really appreciate that. So thank you very much. Uh, that all be I'll have a good home. <laughs> it'll it'll never be sold. Not not in my lifetime anyway. So there you go folks. Just a few spaceships. A, a Bucky O'Hare, an ATST, the Millennium Falcon, and the PS de Resistance, the Slave One. So that's it folks. Thanks very much for watching. Um do you guys remember having any of these vehicles? If you do, pop it in the comments. Um yeah, and I uh, look forward to talking to you all. All right, take it easy. See you later on.